this is a YouTube video about scanning in an inked illustration that still has the sketch lines and then getting rid of the sketch lines so you have to draw a picture first and then file import and WIA support wherever that is and then press start pick your scanner so I like to do A5 pictures because then the paper's smaller and there's less to draw but because they're little pictures I scan them in at 600 this whatever and then hit I just hit scan whatever I don't care about the preview this is the preview you have to wait there's the picture right I'm just going to crop it with the crop tool it's pretty easy Mm, there's some, yeah, fine. Uh, just rotate the canvas, it's probably a shortcut. Right, so the sketch was done in red pencil, then I went over it with a pen. But if you go to channel mixer, and then turn on monochrome, so that's a channel mix of adjustment there. So using the red slider, you can make the red go away. You could adjust that a bit if you want, but maybe not. Who knows? But now all the red is gone, and then you usually stick some levels on it. make it all more so let's get rid of that lock so I'm just going to stick a new layer there and just get a normal brush make it a little bit. I just want to get out oh, um, get rid of the perforations there there right we're going to stick all of that in a group no in a folder but before you put them in a folder you should clip the adjustment layers so let's put these in a group together and then clip the channel mixer and the levels just to that group and then put all of that in a folder and then I'm going to make that multiply and then you can stick whatever you want underneath it and then just put it in whatever like blue you could give it a name as well lines there you go also if you want to make your lines even neater or just I don't know if it's neater it's something else vector let's make him a vector make it a vector let's make it a vector so I made RGB vector file um, mainly because I just make stuff for screens and most printers will just print 
RGB stuff anyway. So let's well, just get rid of this crap. Right, Control Alt Shift D. We'll put all of that on one layer. And then we're going to control A, control C, and go to Illustrator, paste it in. Right, I don't, I don't know what changing the size. Right, now, image trace. Okay. Right, uh, need that. If you can't see controls, window, image trace. Right, let's pick a high fidelity photo. You have to wait. You also have to like, subscribe, comment, and share. So, I'm never really sure what I think about vectors, but I'm going to copy this. First, you have to click expand. Right now, we've got a nightmare. Now, select all of that. Control C. Go to Photoshop. And paste that in. Either you can choose pixels but then there is not really any point in resizing uh, vectorizing it but if you pick a smart object then press ok drink some tea right now if you put that to multiply mixed in with the original image. You could even take that away if you wanted. And then just have the vector one. Whatever well, do you still saying? There's a million ways to do the same thing in Photoshop, so there's probably a better, more efficient way to do this. Also anyone can draw. Anyone can draw. Um, anyone can draw and talent doesn't exist.